What's up guys, Devin with Adventure Hobby Passions back today doing another video. And it's actually just me for now. Uh, Keith will come uh, later in the video. Um, we're back in the shed again. Got the good old Tacoma out. Uh, we're going to get some more progress on taking it apart. Uh, today is, I don't know, sometime in January. It's like the 22nd or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a lot more teardown. Uh, let me flip the camera around and show you what we have all to tear down. I'm hoping to get it all torn down tonight. So this is it. We have the coilovers out. And this shack, this is the axle that was broken. Um, coilovers out, lower ball joints popped out. We need to take the drive shaft off. And then we could take the uh, upper control arm, pop that upper control ball joint out. I'm probably just going to leave the upper control arm on. Uh, and then take this whole section off. Uh, and then we can take the lower control arm off. And then I'm going to take the... Uh, and then everything on the same same thing on the other side as well. And then I'm probably going to go from there. I'm going to take the differ, get differential out. Going to take the drive shaft off. And all that down. And then we can start prepping for paint. Cleaning everything up. All this grease off. So I'm hoping to get everything torn apart tonight. All right, we're back in day two, um, and we're going to be getting the diff out. Unfortunately, the drain plug is seized, so we're going to have to take um, get that taken care of when we get it off. We're going to split the case and everything else in there, make sure it's really clean. Um, bearings we're gonna are all good. Fun, and we're actually going to take it to a professional shop, okay, my shop, and have some professionals look at it and everything else. Uh, and while it's out, we're going to paint it. That's the biggest reason why we're taking it out. Because we just technically needed to replace one ball joint and the axles and this rack and pinion. But yeah, we're going to get that out. So uh, just jump back to the time lapse and keep working.
All right, so uh, we got that diff out. It's actually behind the truck way over there. One heavy son of a bee. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that's not the heaviest thing out there. Uh, no, my truck's good. But so when we're, if you uh, paid attention earlier on the series, uh, we are trying to get the rack and pinion out, and we ended up cutting the high-pressure line and the low-pressure line because uh, we couldn't get them released. They were super seized and everything else. So now we're up here for the power steering pump, which is uh, luckily like right here. I think. Thanks, Keith. Uh, so we got this high pressure side right here, and this is the drain side, the low pressure side. And we're gonna have to replace the the um, lines. High pressure. Replace and both pressure. lines on it. So we're going to do a video. Holy cow! Look how dirty this is. Um, so we're going. For a while. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely been set for a while. Um, so we're gonna have to take. I'm gonna take the air box out to give us a little bit more room to work with, and to make it just to get that high pressure line because that high pressure line's way down there and it's really hard to get to, and it's gonna be tight because it's a high pressure. And then luckily the low pressure line, is just right there. And I think that's just probably just like another fuel line that we'll just have to run way down there. No, it looks like that's in a couple different hose sections for the low pressure. But yeah, we're gonna get this off real quick and then we will ba be back. All right, so the camera had a little technical difficulty, so I couldn't time lapse uh, getting those power steering lines out. Um, we ended up did taking the power the air box out, like I said, Keith was originally not going to, um, but it made it super easy to get those power steering lines out, Ding! and it came right out. He, Keith hit his head; it was kind of funny. Um, got the new all the lines out and diffs out. So from here, um, next video for the truck to be able to get it done is either going to be at Keith's shop getting the differential taken apart or the shocks. Probably, I'd probably start yeah. with the shocks just because that'll we'll be easy. Um, and then also, I'm going to time-lapse getting all the grease and dirt out from underneath the truck and painting it, getting it prepped for paint. It's all because of one thing we had to do this Just time. pretty much that. Um, if the shocks were assembled right, it wouldn't have had any problems, but my bad. Uh, it, I mean, it's in my opinion, it's not a bad thing. My power steering, my rack and pinion is already leaking. Whatever. Um, but hopefully you liked today's video. It's probably a shorter video. But yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. But biggest thing with my channel, go out and go find your passions.